हाँ जी स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट लैटीट्यूड एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड ओके बिफोर दैट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द शेप ऑफ द अर्थ बेटे वी नो अबाउट दैट द शेप ऑफ द अर्थ इज फेरिकल द रीजन ऑफ द स्फेरिकल शेप ऑफ द अर्थ इज देर इज अ सेंटिफिकल फोर्स एंड ग्रेविटी दीज आर द टू फैक्टर विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इट शेप एंड यू कैन से दैट द डायमीटर डिफरेंस ऑल्सो इज देयर इकोटोरियल डायमीटर इज ग्रेटर दैन दैट द पोलर डायमीटर सो दिस इज द रीजन फॉर दैट द अर्थ इज फ्लैट एंड एट द पोल स्लाइटली बर्ल्स एट द इक्वेटर इज देयर बेटे ओनली प्लानट अर्थ हैव द लाइफ बिकॉज हेयर लैंड एयर वॉटर इज प्रेजेंट बेटे योर प्लानट अर्थ हैव वास्ट इकोटोरियल सर्कम्फ्रेंस दैट इज फोर्टी थाउजेंड सेवेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर इन द नेक्स्ट पैराग्राफ वी डिस्कस अबाउट दैट हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द एग्जैक्ट लोकेशन ऑफ अ प्लेस ऑन ए मैप और अ ग्लोब फॉर दैट पर्पज वी शुड नो अबाउट द नेटवर्क ऑफ पैरल ऑफ लैटीट्यूड्स एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड दैट इज कॉल्ड ए अर्थ ग्रिड ओके एज यू नो अबाउट दैट द अर्थ इज डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर हेमीस्फियर हेमीस्फियर मीन्स द हाफ पार्ट ऑफ द अर्थ इफ यू सी इन द फिगर टू पॉइंट वन द इक्वेटर डिवाइड द अर्थ इन टू टू पार्ट इज देयर नॉर्दर्न हेमीस्फियर एंड सदर्न हेमीस्फियर ओके एंड द लाइन विच जॉइन द नॉर्थ पोल टू साउथ पोल ओके दैट लाइन डिवाइड द अर्थ इन टू अनदर टू हेमीस्फियर दैट इज ए ईस्टर्न हेमीस्फियर एंड western hemisphere so there are four hemispheres is there earth is divided into four hemisphere the region north and south of the equator is called northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere in the previous chapter i told you northern hemisphere is called land hemisphere and southern hemisphere is called water hemisphere the region east or west of the zero degree line is represented in the figure that is called prime meridian okay and 180 degree longitude is called the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere is there so there are four main generally direction is there you know about that the north south east west these are called these four direction is called a cardinal points is there okay next page open it page number 20 to indicate every map with the helpers means Uh, to locate that the with the help of these uh, we can say that the direction we can we know about that which place lies in which hemisphere is there now earth grid system bete first of all you should know about that the means uh, geographical definition of earth grid system a complete network of parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude okay drawn on a map or a globe that is called a earth grid means the network of horizontal lines and vertical lines that is called a earth grid with the help of if you know about the latitude and the longitude of any place okay where they these lines and of latitude and longitude intersect to each other then we determine the location of any point on a map or you can say on the earth is there for example there is given gandhi nagar in gujarat okay in india its latitudinal extent is 23 and 12 degree north is there and longitude 72 degree 41 minute east is there where these two lines so you can see that in the map uh, figure 2.4 is given there in india map it represent 23 and uh, sorry 23.12 degree north and 72.41 degree east where they intersect that is the exact location of gandhi nagar is there now we will discuss about what do you understand by the term latitude what is the meaning of latitude but a latitude is the angular distance of a place north or south of the equator in the figure 2.5 you can see that there is a earth shape spherical shape is represent in equator divide the earth into two equal part is there or angular distance of a place north or south of the equator that is called the latitude is there okay next we will discuss about that the imaginary circle circumscribing the earth around the center of the earth being equal distance from the poles drawn through the center with the plane perpendicular to the axis is called equator you can say the imaginary line which is drawn on the cent drawn in the center of the earth that is called a equator and the lines of latitudes are drawn parallel to the 
equators you can see all the lines of latitudes are parallel towards the equator is there and only equator is the considered as a great circle because it divide the earth into two equal part is there remaining all lines of latitudes there the, we can see that the circumference start reducing is there it not divide the earth into two equal part is there so that's why they are called that the small circle is there but the latitude of the equator is 0 to 0 degree and that of the north pole are 90 degree means latitudes are marked 90 degree north and 90 degree south so the total number of latitudes is 180 degree if we include the equator then it become 180 one is there but a latitude always represent with that the letter n or s n means the place lies north of the equator s represent the place lies south of the equator is there but each latitude is an imaginary circle parallel to the equator and center on the polar axis so they are called because they are parallel to each other okay parallel to the equator also so they are called parallels of latitudes why latitudes are called parallels of latitude because they are parallel toward the equator so that's why they are called the parallels of latitude all together there are 180 degree parallels is there at interval of that is 90 degree to the north of the equator and 90 degree to the south of the equator while equator is taken the zero degree latitude and is the only great circle why equator is called great circle because it divide the earth into two equal part is there that's why it is called a great circle the radius and the length of the parallel gradually decreases from its maxima you can see here is the circumference is greater as we move from 60 degree then uh, sorry 30 degree then 60 degree it start reducing is there minima at the pole is there and pole it reach only point is there next bete the distance between each latitude is approximately 111 kilometer how this 111 kilometer come one degree latitude is equal to the circumference of the earth what is the circumference of the earth 40,000 okay divide by 360 degree 360 means longitude is there okay then it will come 111 kilometer the distance between each degree of latitude means from one latitude to another latitude the distance will be 111 kilometer to determine the exact location of a place on the globe the degree is further divided into minutes and minute is further divided into second is there so that's why we write 20 degree 50 minute 22nd north that means a place is 20 degree 50 minute 22nd north of the equator is there but there are five parallels of latitude five important 90 degree uh, we know about that the latitudes are there but five important lines of latitude you can see in the figure 2.7 is there first of all equator is there equator we know about that the great circle is there divide the earth into two equal part is there okay and all the other lines if you see then the length, length of the line start decreasing is there so they are called the small circle is there okay the distance from the equator to pole is approximately 10,000 kilometer is there but all uh, the latitude run parallel to the equator is there north and south is there only equator is the place where the rays of the sun fall vertically throughout the year is there okay so that is called the hottest zone also is there okay and the distance between each latitude is 111 kilometer how we can calculate this we calculate one degree latitude is equal to circumference of the earth divided by 360 degree it will come 111 kilometer now we talk about the tropic of cancer its value is 23 and half degree north latitude but here also sun is overhead but the here the sun is overhead on 21st june when our north pole is inclined toward the sun is there that time the sun is falling straight on tropic of cancer and it is considered that the longest day in the northern hemisphere is there next we talk about the tropic of capricorn tropic of capricorn valley is 23 and half degree south latitude it is the southernmost limit okay when the south pole is inclined toward the sun is there that time sun is falling straight on tropic of capricorn is there that is the longest day in the southern hemisphere is there it happened on 22nd december is there next we talk about the 
arctic circle its value is 66 and half degree north this latitude is very important because the area in this area get that the slanting rays oblique rays means slanting rays of the sun okay so this area when the north pole inclined the sun six month get that the means rays of the sun okay and uh, that time when the north pole inclined toward the sun the south pole have the total darkness is there when south pole inclined toward the sun that time north pole have total darkness is there okay antarctic circle condition is the same vice versa will happen i told you in the northern hemisphere if the inclined toward the sun that time their daylight is there six month and antarctic circle have total darkness when the antarctic circle area inclined toward the sun that time their uh, light is there and arctic circle have that the darkness is there okay now we talk about that the importance of that the latitude first of all latitude beta helpful to determine the location of the place if we know the lines of latitude then we do along with that the longitude we can calculate means uh, find out the exact location of the place is there secondly it divide the earth into different heat zones is there like torrid zone temperate zone frigid zone okay these zone we can have to be um, get it with the help of latitude is there okay next equator the 0 degree latitude is the only great circle because it passes the exact the center of the earth is there and divide the earth into two equal halves all other latitudes are small circles where all meridian of longitudes are great circle that we dis discuss later but the great circles is very helpful for the sailors those who navigate the, the ship okay aircraft means the pilot okay they have to take the advantage of great circle because it save the time and fuel because it reduce that the distance of the two places on a map the great circle routes are drawn between two point with reference to their latitude and longitude is there the main five parallels of latitude mark the different climatic zone already i told you of their position there is, these are called that the temperature zone or that the heat zone is there now we will discuss about that the climatic zone of the earth is there bete because of the earth's spherical shape i told you that the earth is inclined inclined means tilting toward that the sun okay a rotation and revolution all the places of the earth do not receive the same amount of means heat from the sun for example if that the northern hemisphere for example i will show you one diagram see bete this is your earth this is the north pole and south pole six month north pole inclined toward the sun this is the sun okay six month north pole inclined toward the sun and six month south pole 0 degree 23 and 1/2 degree north 66 and 1/2 degree north okay this is 90 degree north and this is 23 and 1/2 degree south 66 and 1/2 degree south and this is 90 degree south bete there are actually three zone is there okay how these three zone is formed first of all we know about that the earth these are the axes actually okay these axes is imaginary line on which earth rotate okay and in these axes are inclined toward that the sun is there six month north pole inclined toward the sun and six month south pole inclined toward the sun when north pole inclined toward the sun 
equator we know about that always get the direct rays of the sun is there and when north pole inclined toward the sun this area get the direct rays of the sun when south pole inclined toward the sun that time south pole get the direct rays of the sun the area which get the direct rays of the sun so the area 0 to 23 and half degree north 0 to 23 and half degree south this area get the direct rays of the sun alternatively okay so this is called a torrid zone is there this is called a torrid zone means temperature is very is very high okay and pressure is atmospheric pressure is low clear so torrid zone it lies between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn which mark the limit of the overhead sun to the north and south of the equator that is from 23 and half degree north and 23 and half degree south with equator dividing the this is called the 0 to 23 and half degree north that is called north torrid zone 0 to 23 and half degree south that is called a south torrid zone is there the area between 5 degree north and south means 0 to 5 degree north and 0 to 5 degree south that is called a equatorial or zone or you can say the doldrum why they said that the doldrum because that time wind velocity is very feeble and their temperature is high and air pressure is very low okay so that's why it is called a doldrum next we talk about the temperate zone is there now in another diagram i will show you equator tropic of cancer and 66 and half degree north that is called a arctic circle tropic of cancer equator better the area from 23 and half degree north to 66 and half degree north that is called a north temperate zone same way 0 here 23 and a half degree south to 66 and a half degree south that is called a south temperate zone okay so what is the meaning of temperate zone we know about that sun is falling straight on 0 to 23 and half degree north 0 to 23 and half degree south only these three lines get the direct rays of the sun when the poles are inclined toward the sun okay but after that the 23 and half degree north and 23 and half degree uh, south the sun is falling slanting to this area okay so when the sun is falling slanting to this area so that means this area neither very hot nor very cold means moderate type of climate prevail in this region is there okay during the summer if the northern hemisphere is inclined toward the sun okay that time these area have the longer days as we go toward the pole but in winter they become shorter or vice versa will be happen for example when the north pole inclined toward the sun this area get the slanting rays of the sun the days are longer nights will be shorter okay but in the other hemisphere means more of the population stay in this region better because the temperature means uh, ideal for this region not temperate zone so that's why people prefer to live in this region is there next is that the frigid zone area is there 66 and half degree north to 90 degree north this area is called north frigid zone and 66 and half degree south to 90 degree south that is called a south frigid zone we know about that here sun is means very obliquely reached to this areas is there so this is the reason this area is the coldest zone of the earth is there when the south pole inclined toward the sun that time when the sun slanting rays reach to this area that time here means sunlight is there and another area have the darkness is there so now we will read out first of all torrid zone is there between 
टॉलिड जोन लाइज बिटवीन द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर एंड ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन विच मेक द मार्क द लिमिट ऑफ द ओवर हेड सन टू द नॉर्थ एंड साउथ ऑफ द इक्वेटर दैट इज ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड हाफ डिग्री नॉर्थ एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड हाफ डिग्री साउथ ऑफ द इक्वेटर डिवाइडिंग द नॉर्थ टॉलिड जोन एंड साउथ टॉलिड जोन इज देयर ओके द एरिया बिटवीन फाइव डिग्री नॉर्थ एंड फाइव डिग्री साउथ ऑफ द इक्वेटर इज कॉल्ड द आर कॉल्ड द डोल्ड्रम डोल्ड्रम मीन्स वी आर दैट द विंड वेलॉस्ट इज वेरी फीबल टेम्परेचर हाई प्रेशर इज लो और यू कैन से द इकोटोरियल जोन एंड द एरियाज ऑफ लो प्रेशर बिकॉज दे रिसीव द डायरेक्ट रेज ऑफ द सन बिकॉज वेन द सन इज फॉलिंग स्ट्रेट ऑन इट अर्थ मीन्स अर्थ बिकम वार्म एंड वेन द एयर टच विद दिस वार्म एयर इट बिकम हॉट हॉट एयर इज लाइट इन नेचर स्टार्ट राइजिंग एंड इट क्रिएट ए लो प्रेशर इज देयर temperate zone north temperate zone limit is that the 23 and 1/2 degree north to 66 and 1/2 degree north and south temperate zone 23 and 1/2 degree south to 66 and 1/2 degree south beta these limit you should have to learn it okay stretch that the south temperate zone stretch the torrid zone to freezer zone here the climate is moderate moderate means neither very hot nor very cold is there okay because of the oblique rays of the sun the area this area does not receive direct rays of the sun it receives slant rays slant rays means rays are oblique okay hence there is a great difference between summer and winter temperature condition is there thus affecting the weather changes which mostly occur during this region during summer the days in northern hemisphere within this region are longer as we go toward the pole okay but in winter they become shorter is there okay now you can see we, uh, we now we are living in the northern part of india na okay northern hemisphere of india okay now what is the condition is going on in our india we are inclined means in the, uh, according to the inclination of the earth axis we are getting that the direct rays of the sun the, so the days are starting increasing in length and nights become shorter is there so which season start there summer season is there okay when the south pole inclined towards the sun that time northern hemisphere days are shorter nights are longer is there okay but in winter they become shorter more the half of the population live in this region is there because of the ideal climatic condition people prefer to live in the temperate zone is there next we talk about the frigid zone is there better the zone between the tropic of uh, sorry arctic circle to north pole okay or antarctic circle to south pole okay that is extremely cold because in due to the inclination of earth axis the area of, uh, in, in this area north and south of the equator receives slant rays during the winter is there here the sun rays cover much larger area and lose heat in the process because when the sun rays reach to this area they have to cover large part of the atmosphere is there most of the heat is absorbed by the cloud dust water vapors okay gases is there so very less amount of heat reach to this area in fact in these region have about 9 month winter during one year and remain frozen for the major part of the year i told you 6 month north pole have that the darkness and now now that the darkness is going on in that the south pole is there north pole have that the light is there clear everyone now in the next topic we will discuss about the longitude